Hi, I'm Ian from Go Outdoors, and today I'm going to talk you through the cooling options that we sell. Uh, we do a massive range of uh, products to keep your food cold on the campsite, so I'll talk you through the different options. First up, we have the very basic cool bag. Now this has minimal insulation, you need to use ice packs, and won't keep food and drinks cold for a really long time, so really more suited for picnics, maybe festivals, or heading down the beach. A, a recent product only came in last year, uh, was the self-inflating cool bag. So we have this one here from Ergo. Uh, now this uses foam and air. When you open the valve, the bag actually inflates, forming a solid cool box. Provides loads of insulation, uh, and when, when it's uh, squashed flat, like so, it's really compact for transport, so it takes up less room in your car. Again, needs to be used with ice packs. Now the classic cool box is the passive, and as you can see, we have a massive range. Now a passive cool box, such as this one, um, uses foam insulation and, and in a hard case. Um, you'll need to use ice packs to keep your food and drinks cold, but once used correctly, they'll keep things cold for a long time, so they're ideal on extended camping trips. A few tips for the best way to use a uh, passive cool box. With your ice packs, make sure they're spread out throughout the box, and also make sure your cool box is full of stuff. So even if you're running out of uh, food and drinks, maybe just put bottles of water in there to just keep it. Um, as full as possible because air is the thing that warms up and also when you open uh, your cool box to get things out make sure you do it really quickly open the lid grab what you need and shut the lid so it stops cold air getting out and warm air getting in uh, we do a big range of uh, passive cool boxes as, as you can see and they simply range in size um, and some of them like this one even have wheels which means you can pull them around the campsite easily um, the more money you pay the better the insulation and it will give you an indication on the website or on the packaging of how long it's going to keep food and drink cold. Um, if you have access to power, um, something like a powered cool box is great. So obviously you'll either have, you might have mains hook up at your campsite, um, and something like these Eco Cools from Outwell. Now this one will actually run off 12 volt cigarette lighter in your car or mains power. It has a fan unit on the top, so it's an assisted cooling, so it keeps things very cool. You can, in really warm conditions, you can use ice packs as well. Um, so these are great. these are a step up from passive cool boxes and as I say you can run it from the car when you're on the way to the campsite and then plug it into your mains uh, and it will go um, throughout your holiday. The very top of the range uh, is this which is the Quest three-way fridge. Now this is an actual fridge like the one you'd have at home um, so it will actively cool products down whereas a cool box will only maintain uh, the, the temperature of, a, of, a, uh, of, a, of your food and drinks. The Quest cool box runs off mains power. It'll also run off 12 volt cigarette lighter in your car, and you can also run it off gas. So if you attach it to a butane cylinder, um, it actually runs off gas. Um, I've got one of these, and it's so efficient. I've kept ice cubes cold for days, even in warm conditions. So that was a summary of the uh, cooling options you have here at Go Outdoors. Um, there's more information online should you need it. I hope that's been of help. Thanks for watching.